Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So I got this crazy idea in my head. Well, I've had it for quite a while. I've always wanted a way to put stock on my workbench and stock on my CNC without having to have clamps holding it in place. And the way to do that is with a vacuum table. Now, I happen to have one of these. It's used in the air conditioning industry to pull a vacuum on your air conditioner before you put the refrigerant in. Now, we're not going to do that here. We're going to use this machine to create a vacuum table. That's what we're going to do in this video. Pass or fail, succeed or fail, you're going to be right there with me. I hope that we succeed. If we don't, I'm going to show you the failure. If we do succeed, I'm going to jump up and down for joy. So that's what we're doing in this video. Let's get started. Off camera, I went ahead and cut all of these little doodads out. I mean, you've seen me cut things on a table saw and a band saw a thousand times, so I figured let's just cut it out and give you the basic premise of what I'm thinking here. What I'm thinking is we're going to make a frame which creates a hollow cavity here. We're going to put these pieces on like so. This piece will extend out beyond the actual table. We'll take this little three inch piece and we'll slip it under here so that it lines up something like this. This piece will sit here. That'll create an open channel. This piece will sit here, glued in place, obviously. This guy will be the cap for the end of this little opening. This piece will go in here. These little bits and bobs will go all through here to create support or bridging for the next piece. Then we're going to take a piece of MDF. The first try is going to be MDF. Second try may be pegboard. We're going to sandwich this on the top of here, like so. We're going to drill a hole in this piece. And then we're going to take this fitting, and we're going to put this fitting in the center. Then I'm going to go steal the hose off of my refrigeration test gauges, and I'm going to hook it to that vacuum pump to there, and we're going to draw a vacuum and see if it pulls in. Now, I understand that you have to surface this to take the uh, coating off the top that will prevent the air from drawing through, and I may have to skim it so that it's a little bit skinnier so the air will draw through. Also, I've got to seal up these edges. So let me go ahead and start adding some glue here and assembling this thing. Now, I'll call it being fussy, if you will, but I'm putting these lines on here so that I know where to put them little bits and bobs so they're in straight lines. And yes, I cheated. I'm not doing this by eye. I've got little bullet points right there that I'm using to help me line this up. Now let's start gluing things together. I'm going to use some CA glue to hold everything in place. And then I'm going to go back through and seal it with rubber cement. Helps if you put the applicator on the correct side. Applicator? How about accelerator? <laughs> it's accelerator, not applicator. And that is almost instantaneous when that hits that thing. Contribution from Atlas, dog hair. Oh my goodness, the grain's running the wrong way on those ones. What will we do? Nothing, we'll just keep going. Thank you. 
Well, we're going to drill a hole in this guy. Everybody complains about my vise. Seems to work though. I'm going to taper the hole a little bit. Let's see if I can't make that thing cut its own threads. Something like that. One thing I forgot to mention, there's an overhang here and here to clamp it on the CNC or the table if I need to hold it on the table. All right, I know I said we were gonna use the MDF first, but I just wanna see what this thing's gonna do. So we're gonna squeeze these down on here and see if it does anything. I suspect that there's gonna to be too much, too many square inches of holes for this to work. Knowing what I know about air volumes and CFMs and all kinds of good stuff like that there, I'm gonna tell you that this is too much, it's too open. We'll probably have to seal it in some way. Now, one thing I didn't mention was this fitting typically would have what we call a Schrader core in there, like a valve on your tire. I took that core out and I drilled the hole, I drilled it open so it's a clean quarter of an inch. So let's hook it up and see what it does. Just as I suspected, too many holes. Okay, I hope you can hear me over that machine, but it is starting to work. It's starting to get suction, which tells me this guy here probably isn't big enough. So we're going to switch to a shot back and see what that does. We'll drill this hole bigger and stick the shot back down. I know what you're thinking. How's he going to use that Fostner bit to drill that hole out? That's a simple trick I've shown before. Take a scrap piece of wood. Drill a hole in it. Take that, set it over that. Clamp it down so it don't move. Once you get it in the right spot. Something like that. Let's put a little insurance on it. Bing, bang, boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing to it. Let's see what the vacuum will do. Okay, we drilled the hole too big. Should have used a set of calipers. Oh well. That's what these tests are for. We'll use a little hot glue. And if this works, I'll put another piece on the top of there and drill the right size hole. Look 
Look at that now. I would say that's proof of concept. And I told you I would jump up and down. Man. Now that I've got it figured out, take the four-wheel drive off. Now that I've got it figured out, we'll make a fitting for this and we'll have a hold down for the mill. Okay, so we've proven that this thing will work and it dawned on me or dawns on me that in order to hold this down, we've got to close off the holes obviously. And then the piece will stick downward to those positions. Now, if I was going to do multiple pieces on the mill, which is what I wanted this for, again, it occurs to me I could put the first piece in place and then use the hot glue gun and the tape in conjunction with this to glue down fixed fences, for lack of a better word, where you could take scrap pieces of wood and hot glue them down to create fences. And in this way, it's got down pressure to hold it down, and it has these guys to stop it from sliding around. And you would be able to put pieces in and take them back out and land them exactly in the same spot and not have to worry about hold down pressure. The vacuum table will do that for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope maybe you learned a little something. I know it was a little different than what I normally do, but it's been a project that I've been trying to, not trying to, I've been wanting to attempt for quite some time. So I think this one is a success. I'll be able to use it on the machine. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something. I hope you laughed maybe a little bit at this one. As always, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one.